Um, I'm Elisa Peters with Innovation, and um, today I'm going to be talking about some of the um, urban myths around going green. Um, first, I'll just mention a little bit about who we are. Innovation um, is a company based in Mountain View, and we give everything away for free. We don't charge for, for any of our services. And our whole business is to help people to go green and save money at home. Uh, so we provide free, independent, and expert advice. And we do that online and on the telephone. Um, so online, you can track your bills, find out how you compare to other similar homes in the Bay Area. Um, we can actually go through a detailed energy audit with you on the telephone and help you figure out, for instance, um, if you're a good candidate for solar, and if so, what are the energy efficiency things that you might want to do first, specifically to bring your bills down so you get the right size solar system. And I'll be telling you more about that. And uh, Thoratec has actually signed up to participate. <coughs> and at the end of the presentation, I'll be showing you how, we, how you can participate and what you can get out of that. So, um, are you spending too much on home energy? Uh, let's just take a good tail survey in the room. <laughs> How many people think they're spending too much on their own energy? Yeah. Well, um, oh, I just messed up the slide a little bit here. If people kind of think that the bigger house you get, the more your bills should go up. Um, but what we found was, um, if you look down here along the bottom, it's home size, 1,000 square feet up to 5,000 square feet. And over here is people's monthly bills, um, from $100 a month um, you know, to $800 a month. And what we found is that for a similar size home, a typical size home around 2,000 square feet, um, a lot of people have bills, you know, pretty low, between 100 and 200 dollars a month. Um, but there's some people that are spending 700 dollars a month. Um, so what's going on with that home? What's actually in that house that's making those bills go up? Part of it is they're using more stuff, and usually it's more electronic stuff because, um, as we heard in the last presentation, PG&E has a tiered rate system. So the more you use, the more you pay for. What we have found um, are the average monthly bills um, for different home sizes in the Bay Area. These are all based on actual homes. Um, so a smallish house, you know, under 2,000 square feet. Usually um, an efficient house is spending about $65 a month. Um, a medium sized house, a little over $100 a month. And um, large houses can be spending as little as $135 a month. And they, they have all the same functionality that their homes do, but they're just spending a lot less. And that's our job is to help you figure out how you can get down into that efficient category. Um, and if you need professionals to come in and, and help make some changes, then we'll help connect you to those. We found out how many people are energy hogs that came to the Green Fair. About 5% of people um, were in the really high spending um, category. So we call them energy hogs. 15% um, were high energy users, so that means they had quite a lot of potential for saving energy. There were also a lot of people, 20% in the room for improvement category, um, so that shows they have a lot of opportunity. But the biggest category, 57%, were actually already energy efficient, so we can give for Thoratech, you guys are doing great. Um, what are some of the devices that you think would be great to have on a power strip? TiVo. A TiVo. A flat screen. A uh, flat screen? Yeah. Television? Uh huh. Any other things? What might be good to have on a power strip? PC. PC. Printers. Printers? Uh huh. Good answers. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the, the big TV, um, the bigger it is, the more energy it uses, and plasmas use more than LCDs, so. Um, if you've got one of these, it's great to put it on, on a power shift so it's not drawing energy 24-7, um, but just when you're actually using it. Um, all the things that are connected to the TV are also using energy. You might not want to put your TV on the power strip because that means it's not going to be recording your shows for you. Um, but the, the stereo, the, the old uh, DVD, the VCR, all those things, if you're, if you're not using it, um, it's just still drawing energy. So those are great things for a power strip. Um, computers, they tend draw all, all night long um, and all of the things connected to computers and we found some printers that are costing people like an extra $150 a year just based on that energy that it's pulling all the time 
And there's some printers that are pretty efficient, um, but most of them are really pulling a lot of energy. So it's worth putting them up on a power strip. Might be worth putting on a power strip, or even if you don't want to spend $35 on an um, expensive smart strip, just even a rocker switch. Um, microwaves, they just don't pull that much. I've measured mine, we've measured them in lots of houses. It don't bother, it has a little clock on there, it's convenient, <laughs> you can leave it plugged in. Um, actually, cell phone chargers don't use much, if anything. It might not even be measurable. Um, a traditional coffee maker, don't worry about it, a blow dryer, a toaster, unless it's a, a super fancy one that has an always on function. Light means it's on standby, it's just waiting to jump into action for you. Those are good things to put either on a rocker switch or a power strip. Um, and the potential savings, of course, depends on how much you're paying per kilowatt hour. Um, but it could be $8 up to $100 per device. So it, it can really pay for itself quickly if you go ahead and get those power. <laughs> but the annual savings can be you know, up to $300 or $360 a year just for recycling that. And right now, if you have one of these old refrigerators, it's a really great time to recycle it because there's a program in California called Cash for Appliances. Um, where if you put together all the different rebates that are available, including the recycling um, fee uh, payment that you get from PG&E, you can basically get a free refrigerator. <laughs> so um, if you want to learn about how to put it all together, um, we put an article on our website um, at innovations.com where you can see about how to, how to make sure that you're doing the rebates right um, or just give us a call um, so that you can get that free. analyze them and track what's happening with your carbon, um, what's happening month to month on your electricity, on your gas. Um, you can even go in and find out how you compare. So for the size of home that you have, for the kind of heating system you have, for how many people live in the house, um, we have lots of data in the Bay Area of typical energy use, energy efficient homes. And you can find out basically how you compare and what your potential savings is based on those comparisons. you money and go green at home through the Greenathon. Um, and what we do with this is this is a contest that's going through the summer. And um, if you sign up for an innovations account, which is totally free, um, then join the Thoratech group. You'll actually qualify for getting prizes and help Thoratech to win the contest. This is a company versus company competition where the companies that um, do the best by getting the most people involved and, and starting to pay attention to their energy. Um, will be the top winners, and then we'll do a random drawing for an LCD TV and two iPads within those companies. And you can sign on, and what will happen um, with this group is you're an anonymous member if you join this group, so it won't show um, that Elisa Peters is a member of the Thoratech group, but your savings will actually get aggregated. So as you save energy, um, it'll show up in the collective savings for the organization so that you can see how you're doing. Um, another thing that happens when you're in the group is you can actually compare your energy use to the other members. So find out how you're doing um, versus your other anonymous co-workers. <laughs> um, and I'll hand out a, a little flyer about how to participate. It just has a reminder to go to Innovations and, and join the Thoratech group.